Back west, you don't see too many of these. Lakes, I mean. Natural or man-made. Any kind, really. We neglected the dams or pumped all the water out a long time ago. Owens, Isabella, the San Luis. Drained the aquifers of everything they had. Just a lot of mud and dust now. It's a different feeling watching the sun come up over the water. Takes some getting used to. But if you're here long enough, it starts to seem normal. That's what a ranger's life is now, looking east. You must be the courier folks have been talking about. Word on the radio is that someone wronged you back in Good Springs. The Mojave has a way of burning decent people up. But it sounds like you've done right by the NCR. It's appreciated. Now what can I do for you? I could tell you a lot if you had the time, but at my age, I'm not sure which of us would get tired first. What do you want to know? I suppose it depends on what you think's good. Most folks want to hear about Hoover Dam and Boulder City, but it's a long story. If you want some tall tales about hunting down slavers or busting up gangs, talk to one of the younger rangers. Kind of a long one, but off right. About 20, 25 years ago, a group of NCR settlers pushed way south into Baja. I guess it doesn't seem so far now if you look at a map, but back then they were out of ways. They built this little shanty town around a well in the middle of nowhere. Called it Rattletail. Word got back to one of our stations that raiders had been attacking the place. I went out with six rangers. We must have been on the trail for a week before we got to Rattletail. We lost one woman to night stalkers and another almost died of dehydration. When we reached the place, it's six shacks set up around an old well. There's over two dozen bodies lying in the dunes way outside of town and five men with 308 rifles crouched behind sandbags. And these bodies, these people out in the sand, they aren't raiders aren't even heavily armed. They're just people who were trying to get to the only well in 50 miles. I didn't have to talk to the men to see that they did not care one bit. They had planted an NCR flag over the well. And they would not budge until every last one of them was laid out dead and cold. So I walked up and told them there was a group of raiders coming, 100 strong. I made up some cockamamie name for him and everything. The men looked at each other, looked at us, and asked me what we were going to do about it. I told them we would take them back into NCR territory because we'd already lost 10 rangers on the way out. 10 rangers, five men with 308 rifles. Well, that was enough for them. They packed up what they could, and we took them back north. Last I heard, they settled somewhere in Anza Borrego. Raised big horners. Had some tough times, but it worked out okay for them. So there you go. That's my one bit of good. <laughs>